Here we go. We'll hike up to the haunted sawmill, perhaps the last. The ground is covered with hail. It's a beautiful day. Here at the crossroads, left to the pit of despair, and right to the haunted sawmill. Well, many a ghost story has been told both about this place and in this place. The side of when Stuart, Scott, and I spent the night up here on a $20 bet from Grandpa Bungard and slipped in that lean-to. But I think it's safe to say that Stuart and Scott did not sleep all night. Signatures are still here somewhere. Oh, look, who's that? Maya. Addie. Oh. I guess they've been washed away by time. This thing is just about to fall. One sneeze. And here once had a great bonfire we hiked up from the cabin pretending to be characters from Lord of the Rings carrying two gallons of kerosene and the only other evidence of the sawmill a big pile of wood with some trees growing on it and way up there Jenny's Rock definitely breathing hard up here Up on Jenny's Rock. Brandon and Donnie and I spread Jenny's ashes so long ago. I didn't even taste them. <laughs>
with this. I know someone who's gonna love that. It's just amazing how quiet it is up there. Returning via the back trail to the cabin. We're back in the day, Stuart and CJ and I intrepidly went down on snowboards. Now you can scarcely even recognize it. There it is. And at last, the Arabs. Side of the old swing. And here, what Grandpa used to call the bear cave. <laughs> Tall tales, and what eventually became our sledding run. Here are the burial sites of Grandma and Grandpa's old dogs. Ginger and who? And of course I have to say my goodbyes to the outhouse. Good old outhouse. The card's still there. Yes, they are. Amazing how smells bring back memories. Side of the old fire pit where many a s'more was toasted. And over here, I can remember as a kid taking a bath in a little pool that we'd made here. And there was a set of hay bales we used to shoot arrows into and often go sledding up this hill. So this is goodbye, Kevin. I shall never forget you.